Hi, welcome to plotterroute.com. This tutorial will give you a quick roundup of some of the main features of the route planner to help you get started. I'll be taking you through the basic steps to create, save and share your first route. Before starting, I recommend you register on the site to create a free account. You can plot routes without registering, but once you've created an account, you can save any routes you make along with any custom settings. I've already registered and signed in and I've selected plot a route from the menus to launch the route planner. Now the first thing we need to do is locate the start of our route. We have three options to choose from here. I'm going to select search for a place and search for a village called East Horsley. Now I can zoom in more precisely to the exact location where I want to start the route. I'm going to start this one just next to the railway station. If you're plotting an off-road route, you may find it easier to switch to one of the other map types at this point. For now though, I'm going to stick with the street map. To add the first point, I just need to click on the map. Then I click my way around the route to map it out. If I make a mistake, I can click the undo button in the action bar. Or I can just drag the finish marker. As this is a road route, I can set the auto plot switch to by road to speed up the process. This will plot points for me following along the roads. I just need to click at intervals along the route and the route planner will automatically fill in the gaps. You can see how long the route is here. Click on the distance to change the units. And if you turn on the ascent counter, it will give you an initial estimate of the total ascent for the whole route. This will be calculated more accurately when you save the route. You can also turn on the timer to estimate how long it will take you to complete the route. Just select the correct type of activity and set your normal speed on level ground. The timer will automatically adjust this to take account of any hills on the route. Dragging the slider above the map will then display the estimated time to reach points along the route, as well as the distance to that point. I'm getting close to the start point again now, so I'm going to use one of the route plotting tools to finish off the route. You can access all the tools from the toolbar on the left of the screen. There are quite a few features here that will help you save time when plotting routes. But the one we're going to use now is back to the start. As we've set the auto plot switch to by road, this tool will plot a path by road back to the start. And that's it. We can zoom out to see the whole route by clicking this button here. To see the route's elevation profile, click on the hills option in the action bar. And clicking directions will show us any directions that have been added. When the auto plot feature is used, directions are added automatically. If you want to change any of them, just click on the relevant one in the list. You can also add new directions by clicking this button here. Just drag the marker to the place where you want to add the directions, click the add directions here button, and then type in the information. You can also add a label or symbol to the map at this location if you like, and even upload a photo to associate with it. If you want to add symbols and labels to the map at locations that are off the route, you can do this by using the Annotate Map tool. To save the route, We'll click on the save icon in the action bar. We'll give it a name, make it publicly available as we want to share it, and select the terrain and what we use the route for. We can also assign tags to the route if we want. Tags are a great way to organize your routes so that you can list certain types of routes when searching through them. Finally, we can add any notes to display with the route. That's it, we just need to click save to finish. 
The route will be assigned a unique link, which you can share or use to view the route again at any time. Each route you save has its own unique page on the site and is displayed using our animated route player. Much like a YouTube video, you can make this full screen and also embed it on your own website or blog. Any photos you've uploaded with the route will also be shown on this page as well as any comments that people have made. To share the route, select Share from the menu above the map. There are many options for sharing the route including Facebook, Twitter and email. The route will also now be listed on your My Routes page, which you can access from the menus. You can use this page to quickly change any of the information you entered when saving the route without having to reload it in the route planner. That's it. There are loads more features to explore, but that's all you need to get started. Have fun and check out the how-to guides for more help and advice.